Hello my friends, here we are on Luminar Neo and today we are learning how to add sun flares to our images. I um, attach an image in the description below, you can go out there and uh, download it for absolutely free and you can use it in your images, that way you will create amazing sun flares in your own photos. I will start with this photo and I already added my sun flare to my images over here. If you do not have it, which you will not, obviously, you go to load images and import the file that I gave you in the description below, and then you will have the same sun flares as I do. So I am going to double click on it, and this is my sun flare. If I have opacity 100%, this is what it looks like. I am going to change the blending mode to screen, and now I have a sun flare that I can move around. So I am just going to put it right here on my sky and I can size it. I'm going to make it bigger in this case. I'm going to put it right here on the sky and let's see. This is our before and after. If it's too much, you can go back and reduce the opacity. For this image, I am going to put it about 70%. And then I want to create another one in the middle just to be a little bit stronger. So I'm going to go to layers plus and add another one. And now this one, I am going to make it smaller. So it's concentrates more in the middle. I'm going to put opacity 100% and blending mode to screen. And now I can create this more intense part over here. Maybe even a little bit smaller. Just something like that. And now this whole image, this is our before and after. Before and after. Let's take a different example. I am going to use this image. I'll go to edit. And then the same as before, I'll go to my sun flare, double click on it. And there it is. It's a little bit squished now because it changed um, it, from being a landscape orientation, it won't portrait. So in order to make it look round again. I am just going to stretch it to the side and now it becomes more round. There you go. That looks better. So I am going to increase opacity to 100% and change the blending mode to screen. And now this sun flare, I want to place it somewhere outside the frame. Maybe something like that. Let's see. Maybe make it bigger. And that looks good to me. So this is the before and after. Before and after. So you see it stretches kind of the rock over here onto the person. It just gives it a little bit more golden. Like there's just sunrise and that sun is over there outside the frame. So that's the before, there's the after. Let's do a different example. This time I am going to use, let's say this image it already has a sun flare but we'll add more to make it more dramatic. So same, same, same sun flare, opacity 100%, blending mode to screen. There you go, I'm gonna place it higher and stretch it a little bit this way to make it more dramatic. And that's it, let's see now. This is the before and after, before and after. Let's do a different example. I am going to take this image and it already has some sun flare, but I just want to add more to make it more dramatic. So I'll go here and double click on my sun flare. Opacity 100%. I'm going to show you a little trick here. I am going to go to screen. I'm going to put my sun flare to the side, stretch it out a little bit. And let's see. This is our before and after. Now, if you think the color is too strong and it's too um, saturated, you can always, with your layer selected, with your sun flare, you can always go to color and decrease saturation. You see, I can decrease it, I can increase it. You can increase or decrease vibrance. And you can also shift the hue if you want more orange, you can move this to the left and it becomes more orange, red, or to the right, you can go to blue, which I don't know why you have a sun flare that is blue, but this is how you will make it warmer if you need to. I'm gonna leave it the way it was. 
and this is the image before and after with that little sun flare. Let's do a different example and I am going to do this one. We'll add plus and we'll add the same sun flare. Increase the opacity and move to screen. And now there's my movable little sun. I'll move it out of the frame and make it a lot bigger. And then just like that, let's see. This is our before and after, before and after. Not a big difference for this image, but it does work. Let's do one more example. We'll take this photo and we will add our sun flare. As you can see, this technique works on a variety of images. It works on portraits, it works on landscapes, whatever you would like. I'm gonna make it bigger for this image and just put it somewhere around there. And now this is our before and after. Before and after. Let's do, let's do a different image. This image, it's kind of really white, the sun flare over here. So I wanna see if I can add a little bit of color to that by adding my sun flare. So let's add our sun 100%. We'll put it onto screen and now I can move it up. And where it's blown out here where the sun is, you can see it doesn't bring any color because it's already so bright, but it does bring color into the three leaves over here and on the right side. Look at that when I turn it off and on, off and on. It does make a difference in my opinion. It improves the image. Let's see, do we have any more examples? Let's try this one. I am going to add my sun flare. I'm going to increase the opacity, move it to screen blending mode. And you can make your own sun flares, you know, if you have an editing programs that uh, will allow you to create such thing. If not, you can just use mine. I will try to create more assets like this that I will share with you guys so you can use it for your editing. So let's see now, this is our before and after. Before and after, I'm not sure I like the effect it has in this image. So, you know, and some images works better than others. Let's try this one. This would be our last example. And I'll go to edit and I will add the sun flare. I'm gonna put it right here where this building is, building is between the trees. I'm gonna make it maybe a little bit bigger. Change the blending mode to screen. And let's see. Let's see what it did. This is the before and after. Before and after. And this is how you would add sun flares into your images. Um, like I said before, I have this sun flare image. Into the description below, you are, um, you can download it and use it however you please. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyla Ewing. I will see you in my next video.